Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. Love has many faces. Compassion is the new word. And through all of this, there is the shift. I've spent a lot of time with all of you, giving you messages about what is possible, what you can do. The subject tonight I've already given you. It's about what was in the old energy and the truths of the old energy that you owned back then. We're going to call it the five great deceptions of the old energy. And all through this, we are describing something that was, not is. Dear ones, it's very difficult to give you the premise without it sounding like it would be insulting or less than. But humans are starting to grow up. Even as I sit before these groups and sense that which is the intuition, the God inside. Even as I do that, I can sense the questions, the intuition. I can sense that the value of compassion is starting to, to show itself. The very personas that are here in the room and that are listening are elevated beyond what they were four years ago. There are new questions being asked that are wise, that don't necessarily reflect into an older energy. And yet the biggest thing, the hurdle of all humans who are listening to this message is how to get out of the bias of the old. It has tainted you, it has affected you, it has made you less than you are. And so I'm here to identify them. And some will sound familiar. I've never given them in a package like this. This is a time of celebration because every single, every single thing I'm going to tell you now is an old energy of the past. And yet you have to hear it. You have to hear it. In order to have a checkoff list to say, not anymore. Not now. And also for those of you who start to realize, well, I know we've passed beyond it, but yes, I still feel a little of it inside. You cannot have spent a life in one paradigm only to throw it away and reboot the computer completely within a few years. You have residuals of the deceptions that you carry with you. And maybe some of you have to hear it. When children grow up, there is such innocence and beauty in the innocence. There are fables and metaphors and stories and mythology that you will often give to your children to make them feel better about themselves. Things to believe in in certain seasons, expectations, so that they will then be ready for life in a better way. And you know of what I speak. And that is appropriate for their ages. And then they grow. And as they grow, they have the, the wisdom to drop some of the mythology, some of the stories. They see a more profound truth. They begin to focus on that which is life. And the childish things drop away. I don't want to say the words, but I have to. That the old energy is filled with childish things. Things that humanity has dwelt upon in a paradigm that was deception. 
Because the old energy paints a picture of mythology. And I want to give it to you, item by item. And each one of these is a celebration because it's not there anymore. Number one, this is a teaching of the old energy. And the teaching goes this way, that everything repeats itself. And therefore, there is nothing new under the sun. And therefore, the future will then simply be more of the past. It gives a feeling of no hope when you realize there's nothing new. And dear ones, this is the way it used to be. All of the things that you had to look forward to were things that you could then tick off in the past that would come around and happen again. The old energy deception says that you will never climb out of human nature, which brought you war. And that no matter what happens tomorrow, it might be just a refreshing break, and then there would be war, because there always was. And the lie would be this, why would you expect something different than what you had? What is it that would then change so that human nature would be different? And the answer would be, it's always the same. The deception is in place, even today. As you look around this planet and you listen to those talking, what are they saying? They're expecting the things in the past. They're wringing their hands. Because what has happened in the past will be the pattern of the future. You've turned the page, the marker. You're starting to accelerate that which is your intuition and your wisdom your involvement into areas you've never been before. This future has never been written. It is not on the track of the past at all. With every single one of these, I'm going to ask you to rewrite them in your psyche. You can participate or not. But right now you can say, dear spirit, I understand this. I know that the future has been unwritten and is filled with a pristineness of beauty and compassion and my life can steer right into that beautiful serene ocean that's never existed before that is the new energy and you can say I hereby drop the deception that it has to be something I've seen before Number two, you cannot get ahead. You've tried and you've tried, but there's always something that will beat you up, including yourself. That there is a plateau that you can reach that is almost there that's good enough, but you'll never be able to actually get ahead of certain things and the reason is because the dark energy of this planet has always kept you in this box and so there is a complacency that says this is good enough and when there are those who tell you this or something better you say well that's a nice thing for you but I know the reality of the paradigm I'm in and I'm not going to be able to go above a certain level I cannot get ahead what a deception this is and it's built to keep you in line dear ones the deception is that which is an old energy deception if humanity 
feels it's stuck, you will be. And that is what has happened. Do you know how easy you are to control when you never think you can get above where you are? Easy. And there are those who have controlled you for years, that control the planet, who control the economy. You even have names for them. Oh, they're so successful. Because you know you'll never get beyond a certain point. <laughs> the new paradigm erases that completely and says that you awaken literally with an akash which is starting to stir which is starting to say there are talents here for you that you've never had before not only in this life but the next one and the next one that you're on a path you've never seen that will take you light years ahead of where you are now Anything that you wish to accomplish in this energy with the wind at your back, you can do. And you might say, dear spirit, I will never give verbiage to can't again. Dear spirit, I know that there are things beyond what I can imagine for me. No matter how old I am, I know that I can go further than I ever have gone before. In fact, I'm already there. Because I am part of the shift and not part of the deception. Number three, you're not worthy. Oh, dear ones. Even some of the last channels I've given you have landed upon this in such a profound way. How do I do it yet again? How do I do it without insulting the child inside of you? How could you ever believe from anybody that you were born dirty? How could you believe this when inside of you is the grandness of the creator and it's all around you? How could somebody say you don't deserve God? Would you say that to your children? You're born dirty. I won't love you until you do something. Would you? Would the Creator do it to you? How childish is this? And yet, it is the paradigm of an old energy of unawareness. And that is where you've been so willing to believe these things that were given to you that are ungodlike and yet you have gone with it so greatly so grandly and then there's the akash that says yes that's right because everything you've tried to do in the past has been difficult and every single time you tried something spiritual you were beat up for it. We said that word before. Again and again we've told you that you come in with a bias of unworthiness. And everyone around you that is important tells you that's right. And so the bias you have is that you're not worthy of even being on the planet itself. God doesn't love you. And you're going to have to go through this just like you have over and over and over. And that is a lie. It is the biggest lie from the old to the new energy that's ever occurred on this planet. Children might believe it. But not an advanced race of humans who are awakening to the truth of who God is. And the who is inside you. <laughs> And the divinity that you feel should make you breathe a deep breath and say, not only am I worthy, I am very worthy. Never before in the history of humanity have you been as worthy as you are now to solve the problems of this planet, to go into a, a situation with no war, to start compassionate action, and ignore everything you see on the news because it'll drag you down it only reports the old energy did you notice all that is on your broadcast 
is almost exclusively in alignment with the old energy. And that is because that particular paradigm has not died for them. In fact, it has not died for most. They continue to cling to something that isn't real. Old soul, you know better. You're worthy. Sit there for a moment and know that you are worthy. The almighty God that has created this galaxy has created you in a beautiful image of itself. And so you might take a moment to take a breath and say, unlike the old energy and deception that I had, I no longer buy into that which I was told. I was born into magnificence because I have God inside and all that I see is made from God. I see God everywhere and I honor it and it's beautiful. I am worthy to see it and I am it. Amen. That was number three. Number four is so profound, I have said it for more than 26 years. So profound and yet so misunderstood. Why? Why? Would you ever take the almighty love source and give it a human consciousness? There is nothing pure in the universe than the love of God. You have no concept of how pure it is. It is beyond your reasoning. It is beyond anything that you can fathom. The, the power of love can wipe away all negative things. It's the creative energy. Love and compassion are the elements of God. And in that, how is it you can then say, well, you know, there were wars in heaven. Well, you know, there were a, a fallen angel. Well, you know, you know, God is not happy with you because you did this and that. In fact, God is about to punish you because you did that and that. Oh, how human can you make God? Do you understand the mythology and the childness of buying into the fact that God is a human? No. God is a creator of the universe. It is as far away from the human consciousness as you can imagine anything. Light years from the way you think. And yet so much of what you have believed or been told has God revolving around judgment, wars in heaven, fallen angels, all of these kinds of things that will drag you right down to the bottom. That is a paradigm, dear ones, of an old energy, a mythology that you are not part of. Born magnificent. And worthy you are. With the image of God you are. And that is the human being. Rewrite who God is. And see it from the breath of birth. As a parent that is so divine. That there is only love. No matter what you do. Only help and benevolence, no matter what you do. With free choice, you can do anything. But when you have the free choice to see who God is inside, it all starts changing. And you start to see the beauty that has always been there. Not the judgment. Impossible for God to judge you. Do you realize that you have made God dysfunctional? A human being would not do to its children what you believe God is doing to you. Think about it. And then awaken to a truth that is magnificent. And filled with compassion and love and beauty. Use common sense. Who is God? 
That was number four. Number five. Darkness is in control. <laughs> well, it has been. And the darkness has been humans. Personified in free choice to be dark. You have seen it in the wars. You've seen it all through humanity. When a human decides to go dark, all manner of people come with them. And they become your controllers and your masters and you don't even know it. Because you can't get ahead, remember? Darkness has always been in control. And they have been. Human race has been manipulated into wars for money. You know that. The human race has been manipulated all through its existence by those who wanted to. And were powerful and greedy enough to go along with the others. And that is the paradigm that you know and you remember and you sense is there. And that was the old, and it's not happening now to this degree. Oh, there are some who still believe it is, and they're about to have an awakening. Because light is winning. Darkness is no longer in control of this planet. And if you think it is, what happened in the 80s when you didn't get your war? What happened when you turned the corner and you did not have the Armageddon in the year 2000? What happened in 2012 with a celebration of passing the marker and humanity started to awakening with light? That is not an earth controlled by the dark. And yet, it's still ingrained in you, isn't it? Have you ever met with even those who are what you would call metaphysical? And the first thing they would tell you is the conspiracies of who has done what to whom and who is in control. Because it is still there in their psyche. Because that's the paradigm they're used to. Dear ones, it is not here. You might take a moment to proclaim it. In an affirmation. Like all the others, you might take a moment to say, Dear spirit, I am in control of my life light is in control of this planet and slowly it will illuminate itself chasing the dark away like it never has before and you will never think again the darkness is in control there are those who will hear this channel and say crying is like a Pollyanna channel. Everything is just fine. Did I really say that? Crying is a Pollyanna channel because everything is going to be sunny and there's going to be plenty of light. Dear ones, that is the prophecy of the ancients. But they didn't say it was going to happen in a time frame that you want. You are beginning a journey into light and that is going to excite the darkness you know that don't you as you pull out the tools that you are being given they're going to be frightening to a, a darkness that has been in control and there will be institutions that will fight you there will be so many who are used to the darkness who won't understand as what's happening and slowly they will lose ground and you will then understand what I'm saying. Understand. But if you sit there unaware that you won't get ahead, that darkness is in control, that you're unworthy, nothing will happen. In closing, I'm going to tell you two things. The old soul has the wisdom to pull this off. But the old soul will also have the challenge of dropping the bias of the old deceptions. The youngsters just coming in will not have the bias. 
and it's going to show. And they will look at some of you and actually say to themselves, what is wrong with you? They've never experienced that which is unworthy. The goals they have for the future are bright. They see only what they can create. And they look at you wallowing in the corner, worrying about everything. The youth have the perception without the experience. So, old soul, it's about time you learned how to drop the old so you could lead the way. This is what is at hand at the moment, at the moment, on this planet, at the moment, right now. Changing even as I channel. The battle for dark and light is at hand. We told you it was coming. There can be no more fence sitters and light is winning. Very easy to say. Now go discover it. It's a celebration, isn't it? Everything I've said is past. None of what I've said is accurate for the paradigm after the shift. Go find it, dear ones, in love. And as you do, you'll see a big hand take yours and realize I'm right. I'm right. That the center of the universe, that which is the creative source, lives with you every day. Can you smile with that? <laughs> and so it is.